How is it going, YouTube? Mega Capital G coming at you today with, uh, oh wait a second, Me it's not Mega Capital G, Mega Capital G is actually the one dueling right now. This is Slacker Magician coming at you with the Competitive Dueling Network duels. I know that they're, god damn it, stop glitching out, fraps. <laughs> no, it's actually not fraps' fault, it's Google Chrome's fault. They have this terrible mechanic of, um, it doesn't really matter. Continuing with the duel. He, uh, dualities for a, uh, mathematician, a Dianea, and, um, the other one was, like, some kind of trap, I'm pretty sure. No, it was a centipede. So, obviously, he goes for the mathematician to dump Hornet into the grave as soon as possible. All the insectors are dark, am I mistaken? I, um, they, I don't understand why they don't run Armageddon Knight either for the, uh, that's unfortunate that it was a moral attack, but then again, he didn't get a play, and we might be here many time, Mega Cavill G's favorite, uh, first turn, Bujin play, not here May. um, Tsuki Yomi, sorry about that, can't believe I forgot, oh, nope, it's a Ragna Zero, not really sure why, other than the pure attack, um, it has, Although, it is good against Insectors because of uh, Gigamantis. They won't be able to get over um, Ragna Zero without the Gigamantis. I mean, it, I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously Hornet can pop it, but Hornet's not in Grave yet. But it is now. <laughs> you can believe me, he's about to send... Traptrix Mermello? Alright, so obviously he has Diana in hand. Either either that or he dumped um, Hornet earlier without me knowing. I'm actually shocked to see that he dumped Mermelio over the Diana. Alright, so Bujingi here comes down to deal with the Mathematician, clearing his field. He will get to draw one. And the only thing, Mega Capital G is not going to uh, set any traps because it's just going to get popped by the Mermelo. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see a Silent Honor arc here. It would take care of the both the Ragna Zero and the Bujingi here. Not really sure why he has to think about this. Okay, because okay, he's going with the Centipede play. Did I miss him dumping Hornet or something? I think Lady. Oh, Jiga. What the hell? Wait, why are you saying K, Big Snacks? Pop this mother! <laughs> I don't understand why he didn't use Ragnar Zero's effect though. To pop him. But it was a loss either way. And uh, we're moving on to game three. Wow, this guy's actually rated 1100. And uh, our boy Mega Capital G is giving him the smackdown. His last opponent was um, only rated like 680 or something. But. I am, I'm convinced that Dueling Network has some kind of algorithm that is more about the win-loss ratio. Well, obviously it, it factors in both, but I think that it factors in the win-loss ratio a lot too because um, last turn he was playing against a decent Gearjo player. Uh, he won the game, but it, he did misplay a couple times. And uh, a Fire King player also beat him down. <laughs> but... Alright, so he opens up Insector Ladybug, just like last time. Uh, but it gets a, a Veilard. But Ladybug can equip um, to Centipede all on her own. She doesn't. It doesn't need Centipede's effect to equip it. Okay, so Sinew comes down. That reading... You, do, <laughs> you don't know what Sinew does? You ain't good, scrub. Sinew is the new Honest. <laughs> I um I think Mega Capital okay so he has Honest, but fortunately the Sanctum's gonna take that sinew down, and we'll say no to Honest. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not really sure you can negate an artifact Sanctum with anything besides a wiretap, really. All right, so it sets one. Let's hope it's a Black Sonic. <laughs> Foolish is the hornet, I'm guessing. 
Or we might just go Mermelio again. Nope, he's finally going for the Hornet. And he will pop this back row, so let's hope it's not a Mirror Force. Not that anyone runs Mirror Force, but it could be a D-Present. But, more realistically, it's going to be Memory of an Adversary. Oh, MST, nicely done. Oh, well. The Sanctum, um, can't destroy anything. Is this limited to once per turn? Shut up, Dragonfly, I'm trying to read. You got, wow, you can only activate one Artifact Sanctum per turn. So that really worked out for Mega Cap World G right there, but might be too late. Alright, so Dragonfly... I don't understand why I put two tokens on it, but... Special Summon Centipede, which will probably equip Ladybug again. Yep. And now he gets a search out. Um, why is he putting two counters on it? And why is he saying plus two? Once per turn, you can equip one Insector Monster. Okay, so it's Excalibur. And I'm assuming the other Centipede will also... Oh, no, he's overlaying. Didn't see that coming. Into what, a Lava Golem? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he was changing their levels with Ladybug. Sorry about that, guys. I, I've i never played Insectors before, and I always forget their effects. So, Shark Fortress is going to... I'm pretty sure this is enough damage for game. Yep, with that Zex Calibre, that's that's um, game over. He better have that Kareem Bandit, folks. Battle Fader is something. Nice game. Yeah, nobody runs Gores in... <laughs> Oh, this guy's picture is gorgeous, so I mean, well, nobody runs it in uh, Fusion. But that is, has been due two defeats in a row on uh, Mega Capital G's uh, behalf. So let's hope this next one is a victory. This has been Slacker Magician. See you guys on the next duel.